Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are unpacking and organizing the playroom. If you are new to my channel, we just moved into a new house. So the first week that we were here, we did not have any air. Um, no one knew that the air conditioner was broken, so a lot of unpacking did not get done. We live in Florida, and it is just way too hot to not have air inside your house and to be unpacking. It was just horrible. I did want my girls to obviously have a clean space to play a little bit in, so the first day all I did was clean the floor in here. This is what the whole room looked like before I started unpacking everything. This is the only room that did not get painted before we moved in. It was already blue and I thought that's not a bad color for a playroom. If we want to repaint it later, then we can. So it did come with these built-in shelves, so I thought it would be a good playroom. My girls had Disney music playing before I came in here, so I just left it on. And I listened to Disney music like the whole time I was organizing their room. So as you are watching this video, you're probably going to be thinking, my kids have so many toys. And I know that when I was looking up playroom videos before, they're like very clean and they do toy rotations and only have like eight toys out at a time. And that's cool, but it is not something that I do. You know, every couple of months we will go through toys and if there are things that both of the girls can agree on that they do not play with, then of course we donate it and they're very good about that. We did that right before we moved, so they actually do play with everything that is in this room. And then there are things like that dollhouse that is sitting up there on the shelf. That was my dollhouse when I was little. If you look that dollhouse up now, it is considered vintage and I just do not want to get rid of it because I love it and the girls still play with it. Also, Lexi has a thing for old dollhouses. We like to go antique shopping together and she is always on the lookout for dollhouse furniture, dollhouse people, or other old dollhouses. And if that is something that she will continue to love, I would love to be able to give that dollhouse to her and maybe she can have it for her children. So because of all the built-in shelves and the shelf space that we have in this room, I was trying to make a space for each type of toy, like the kitchen and baby dolls together, um, Barbie stuff together, put all the Barbie stuff where Avery's new dollhouse is going to be. The girls donated their old Barbie house right before Avery's birthday because Avery wanted a new one for her birthday, but we waited to put it together um, when we moved because we did not want it to get broken. I got these beanbag chairs off of Amazon and they're empty and you put like stuffed animals or blankets in there and so much fit in there. I was so surprised. I also got this rainbow rug off of Amazon. I think it is so pretty and so cute and the beanbag chairs came out so nice. And this is what everything looked like at the end. We have a spot for woodsy toys and lol dolls and poly pockets and i don't know if you guys have ever seen these like ugly pets i don't think they make them anymore but they were so funny we have their dollhouse the only thing i don't like is that big blue box it is like filled with barbies but i need to find something else to put the barbies in i just got some new baskets so I might try to make it look cuter and use some baskets instead of that big blue box. I love their little Barbie section. I used to love Barbie when I was little and I love this new Barbie house. It is just so cute. It's really tall too. Avery said that she can barely reach the top level. It is more sturdy than the old one that we had. It was plastic and the girls had it for a couple of years. But I like that this one is made out of like wood, so it's way more sturdy than the old one. Super cute. I love that they have a little beanbag chair and like the plants are so cute. I love plants, so I like that they added that. 
And I love that little bathtub and these doors. And of course, the elevator is very cool. Did you guys play with Barbie when you were growing up? If you didn't, what was your favorite toy? I think Avery is more like me. I loved my Barbies and my baby dolls, and those are her favorite too. Alexis has always been more into like the little small animal toys. Like she still loves Littlest Pet Shops and she loves mini brands. I actually tried to get the girls to get rid of this huge bear. He sheds like a lot, so I'm always finding brown bear hair everywhere. But they did not want to get rid of him yet. So this is Avery's little baby doll section. This wooden bunk bed was actually mine again when I was little and it has lasted forever. This bunk bed, however, is newer. And as you can see, the top is missing. Our cat jumped on top of it and he broke it. I love their little kitchen. It is so cute. Um, even the baby, he likes to come over here and play with the kitchen. So that's cool that he can use it too. I got these baskets from Amazon and I am just obsessed. They are so adorable. I put their fruits and vegetables in there and their other food down there in the bottom. So I love this little section. My husband did put a little TV up here on the wall for the girls. So that's nice. They can sit on their little beanbag chairs and watch movies. I love being able to do this for my kids. They are only little once and they are really enjoying everything in here. So it makes me really happy. Avery said, Mommy, I'm really enjoying our playroom. Thank you so much for making it look cute. It was so sweet. Let me know what you guys think of their new playroom. Thank you so much for being here, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.